Hi, this is Wee Kiong. I'm showing you how to install ESXi 5.0. Here I have downloaded the ISO from VMware.com. Okay, which is just GA today. As you can see, there's a slight difference on loading the media. There's now a loading bar. You will also see this loading bar when your ESX I first boot up fresh when power on. Here I'm using a nested VM in my vSphere environment. You might see some errors going on in RAID. Um, please ignore those. Here I'll press enter and accept the license by F11. There's a slight difference between ESXi 4 and ESXi 5.0. There's a slight increase of RAM if you actually take note of the memory required is slightly more, more than 2 gig requirement. Okay, in this case here, you can see that this is my virtual disk. Okay, by pressing F1, you will be able to see the information of your disk. This is pretty useful if you have multiple disks and wants to verify which is your actual disk that you want to install your hypervisor. Okay, I'm going to press enter to select this disk. Here you have three options. One is an in-place upgrade of the EXXI and preserve the VMFS data store. The second one is to install a fresh ESXi, but still you want to preserve the VMFS data store. And the third one is install a new ESXi and overwrite your existing VMFS data store. In my case, I'm going to choose the third one since this is a fresh install. I'll accept the default. If you notice here, you will have to set a new password during your installation. Unlike in ESX4, you will only do this after the installation. Oh, you will see here that I do not have a hardware virtualization in place being the fact that this is a nested VM. You will also see this if you did not in enable the Intel VT on your physical hardware. Okay, I'm just going to ignore this by pressing enter okay, and F11 to carry on with the installations. Here the installation will take place. I'll resume this back as this will take slightly a while.
and you can see that there were a slight boot time where you can do some selection and the options were all shown on the bottom which is something new now the hypervisor is loading We'll wait for the loading of the hypervisor to complete and I'll show you some of the menus that has been added in this new ESXi. Okay, here he has completed. You can see at the lower left the title has actually shown additional item view locks here we will lock in you see the menu is roughly the same and we can see the management network to configure it it all looks the same not much of a change However, you see that there are two items actually added. Restore network settings. And also restore standard switch, which I have not configured any. So it's grey out. This might happen when I join the vCenter. And you are able to also configure your keyboard. Okay, let's view the troubleshooting options. Here, you have two options. One is to enable the EXXI shell so that you can actually do a direct console and enable SSH. Also, you can modify the EXXI shell timeout and also restart the management agent. Here you will see the view system logs and there are various system logs you can view. You will just have to use the numeric number 1 to 5 and also 6 and Q to, quit, to quit the screen. Okay, I'm just going to show you for example, you were to see the syslog by pressing 1. Alright, and Q to quit. Okay, this is the support information. And the last one is to reset system configuration. Alright, this end the installations of ESXi 5.0.